Now to the pandemic, and there are many long-haul symptoms of COVID, but one of the most distressing for many people is the loss of smell and taste. Well, now CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez tells us of a unique way to restore those senses with something that actually started out as a treatment for tennis elbow. Nancy D'Amato is finally able to enjoy eating again. She lost her ability to taste and smell after a bout with COVID-19 last February. It was really, really um, jarring. I mean, I, and I lost it but in, like instantaneously. It's often one of the first symptoms of COVID. That's usually temporary. But for some patients like D'Amato, the inability to taste and smell lasts and becomes a COVID-19 long haul symptom. It was life changing that I, I couldn't enjoy any food. I didn't want to um, eat. It was so depressing. With limited treatment options, D'Amato found an intriguing research project at Jefferson Health in Philly. I really feel that it's helping me. The Jefferson research is testing platelet-rich plasma, called PRP, from the patient's own blood to restore smell. It's been used to heal soft tissue injuries like pulled muscles and tennis elbow, and even to regrow hair. Now, instead of injections, Dr. David Rosen and his team are using a biodegradable sponge infused with PRP. We put it up very high in the nose where all the smell fibers are located. It gets absorbed through the lining of the nose. It basically helps those cells that have, have been damaged by the, the COVID virus to start regenerating. He says of the nine COVID patients who've received PRP, eight have responded. I'm able to start to enjoy some flavors, food again. After five monthly treatments, Nancy says her sense of smell and taste are slowly coming back. She's able to enjoy her perfume again and is back to wine tastings. The theory as to how PRP works in the elbow and perhaps in the nose is that the plasma stimulates and nurtures stem cells to regenerate, regrow, and repair cells that have been damaged, either by COVID or by too much tennis trauma. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.